MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Ought to be a good one here between the Toronto Blue Jays and the New York Yankees. Now in the box, Rowdy Tellez. He will lead this one off today. And a little off to begin the afternoon as it's to three and one now. Swing and a miss and the count goes full three and two. Sunshine starting to break through a bit after a cloudy morning. 57 degrees here at game time. Hit in the air to center field. Gardner has to roam straight back but he has it for the first out. Stepping up to the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Now the three and two pitch. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the exciting Lourdes Guriel Jr. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one two is a fastball that misses. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Giovanni Urshela. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Into center field, line drive base hit. The third baseman. Standing in now, Miguel Andujar. Line to the right side. In there, the base hit. Now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. At the plate now, DJ LeMayhew. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. Hit down the third. Oh, it's off the third base bag. And the run will cross to make this a one nothing Yankee lead. Into the box now, Aaron Judge. Slapped hard the opposite way. Richard is there to put it away for route number one. Now with the play, Torres. And the Yanks trying to make this first inning even sweeter here. The 1-1 home is blasted out to left center. This one's deep and not coming back. Gone! Not every home run is exactly the same. That ball was absolutely destroyed. So now to the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. In there, one and two now. Hey, after that extra base hit, things could go awry. He didn't. He battled right back in the zone with a nice executed pitch. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Luke Voigt waits on deck. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well. To deep right field. And Stanton's aboard. It's a base hit. Into the box, Luke Voigt. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Striding into the box, Gary Sanchez. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. 
and this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. So two on with two away. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. And it's fouled away. Four runs here in this half inning. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Oscar Hernandez digging in now and they've got some work to do early on down four nothing already lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on but you don't want to fall too far behind they're already down by a bundle and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs that is good. so but striding that's forward good. now Bo oh. Bichette he's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest A swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. The Ready now, Brendel Gritchick, and he's definitely Randall. off to a fast Gritchick. start in the early part of the season. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. Into the box now, Reese McGuire comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Fouled off. Gritchick, the runner at first with two gone. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Settling in now, Gio Urshela. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Yeah. Called strike, and that'll run it full. Four tail. Three and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Ready for another chance, Miguel now Andujar. He singled and scored in his first Miguel. appearance in this one. Andujar. Three and one now as that misses down and in. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Full count, three and two. Heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that will bring in D.J. LeMayhew. The 3-1. Grounded back up the middle. That's through for a base hit. He's now two for two in this one. The right fielder, number To the plate now, Aaron Judge. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Leading off the inning, Billy McKinney, and they'll need him to get something going here. A 1 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. This offense just doesn't look like they came to play today. Ugly swing after ugly swing. Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to first on the hit-by-pitch. Stepping up now, Kevin Biggio. Biggio. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Back goes Stanton, still ranging back. swing right there Dan that had to feel good you're facing an elite starter you don't know if you're even going to get wood on the baseball today you know when that'll rattle you a little bit this guy's been throwing the ball great one of the top pitchers in the game he's not used to guys barreling him up and hitting him in the seats in now Rowdy Tellens a two and one count to the Blue Jays first baseman And 
this will be fouled away. The 2-2. Two -two. Bases are empty here, nobody out. A bouncer to the left side. Andujar's got it. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Now batter. Digging in to try it again. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. So digging in now, Mortis Guriel. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Stanton has a read on it. Two down. So here's the cleanup hitter to Oscar Hernandez. He flew out in his last at bat. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to two and two now. Now the pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Fouled away. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on it. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. Now the one and one pitch. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. And he fouls this one off. Third inning here, already 4-2 our score. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Next for New York, Luke Boyd. The 1-1 one -one is looked at for ball number two. Two out, nobody on. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. A one one. A runner on first with two away. Now this pitch sails up and in, and that leaves him muttering to himself. It's ball two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Another 2-2 offering. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. The center fielder, number 11. Brett. At the plate now, Brett Gardner. High in the air out to center field. McKinney's there for it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side.
New inning set to get underway. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Bo Bichette, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Judge moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. The right fielder, number so three. one away here with the bases Randall. empty. And the big right-handed bat of Randall Grichuk saunters into the batter's box next. Hit on the ground to short. And there are two away now. Stepping in for the Jays, Lee McGuire. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A 1 and 2 count to the Blue Jays signal caller. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Gio Urshela. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. The 1-1. One, one. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. So two balls and two strikes now. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon, and this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Richard is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And that'll bring up DJ LeMayhew. LeMayhew. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting Runner! yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. And he is in there. The right fielder, number Aaron. At the plate, Aaron Judge hit out towards second. Scooped up. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Stepping in, Billy McKinney. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Hit back up the middle. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. At the plate, Kevin Biggio. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot. But listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A.B. But listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. One there, but no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. Now back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. 4-2 our score here as we play inning number five. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Digging in once again, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. It was a walk Vladimir in his last Guerrero trip. Jr. Now the payoff pitch home. A bouncer up the middle. A throw not nearly in time, so despite the great effort, that'll go into the books as an infield single. The back. Number 13, shortstop, Lourdes Gurriel. Into the box now, Lourdes Gurriel. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. 
with two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Weekly hit to third. Andahar brings it in. Throw on to first is in time, and the Toronto rally goes for naught as the inning is over. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Next will be the designated hitter, Torres. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at-bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over. Up the middle and off the pitcher's leg. Throw gets him, so they are able to get an out on an unusual play. Hopefully the pitcher's okay. Now at the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Stepping in now, Luke Boyd. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Hernandez. He's got it, and there are two down now. So a runner at first now with two away. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. The one-two. Line drive to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Full count, three and two. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Next to the Blue Jays, the designated hitter, Bo Bichette. So now to the plate, Bo Bichette. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Ready to deliver the one and two. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Zach Britton enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Here's Randall Gritchick. In previous meetings with Britton over the years, he's hitless in three at bats. The two and one on its way. Popped him up. Urshela moving to his left. Two gone. At the plate, Reese McGuire. No hits to this point. Number 10. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Sam Gavilio will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 43. Sam. Digging in now for the Yankees. Brett Gardner. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Hit in the air to center field. McKinney giving chase. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Gio Urshela. The 3-1. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, but the feed to the pitcher is offline. Fortunately, the catcher's there to back things up. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And set to go is the third baseman, Miguel Andujar.
Now the one and one pitch. Line to the right side. But a foul ball. The one two. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Throw on to first won't be in time, so they just get the one there. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring in D.J. LeMayhew. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. If he doesn't shorten his swing up right there, there's no chance he keeps his bat back. Line drive to left. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. And now Aaron Judge. This one's down to third. Throw on to first, and the Yankee threat goes by the boards as the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Billy McKinney, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. I got to count. Two and two. Here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning now stepping in and ready for another shot big. Kevin Biggio he comes in one for Good two big. with that home run he hit earlier now the one and one pitch misses for the second ball. And a hard sinker there chopped foul at home plate. Here now the 2-2. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4-2 our score. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. Here now the 2-2. And it's fouled away. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Now better. Now and now back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. And stepping in, Rowdy Tellez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. Good swing, just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. And another foul ball. in here as he reaches to foul this one away out of the stretch the 3 2 pitch home this is skied into short left center and Stanton will put this one away and the inning is over for the traditional seventh inning Riding forward now is the D.H. Torres is working on a one for three thus far. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. This is hit sharply to the left side. And there's a base hit, so a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. Now back, left fielder, John Tarlow. 
Into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. Chopped back to the mound. Can they turn it to second for one? Back to first, and they'll take care of Stanton as well. It's a double play. Digging now in, Luke Voigt. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. One and two now. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Grounded back up the middle. Reined in. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Tommy Kingley has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 48. Tommy. Next to bat for Toronto, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. Now the one and one pitch. Count is two and one. Hit hard to the right side. And this is going to find its way into right for a base hit. And the leadoff man's on to start the eighth. The bat, number 13, tips off. Lourdes to the plate now. Lourdes Gurriel. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. To Oscar Hernandez, who represents the possible go-ahead run here, waits in the on-deck circle. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So a runner at first now with one away. And striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. Ready with the one and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Fouled off. The 2-2 one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Now at the plate, Bo Bichette, who could really but use a knock hit. here, 0 for 3 oh, in the game so far. The 2 2. Good okay. spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Jordan Gamano goes on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 68. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Coming to the plate now, Gary Sanchez. He's working on a one for two game so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Fouled away. Ready on one and two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. And he fouls this one off. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Here's another 2 2. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. Fouled away. Hey, five foul balls in a row. Loving the battle in the box right there. Making the pitcher work. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little That's nibbling right. right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. Better fielder. Digging in now, Brett Gardner. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now the one and one pitch. Runners on the move for second. Still a ball and two strikes. The one two. Hit out towards second.
now back. Number 29. At the plate now, Gio Urshela. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. Now One out. Third baseman. Standing in, yeah. Miguel Andujar. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience and it's full. Three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any. Oh, wow, what a stop to second for one. Not in time. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Second baseman, D.K. The 1-1 home. High in the air out to center field. McKinney's there for it. And that ends the inning. Your Your oldest Chapman please. comes on from now the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top Number of the ninth. Four. All, right, All set to start the ninth in this one. Into the box. Randall Gritcher, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Looks like a tall order trying to tie or take the lead against this guy who leads the league in saves. Now a flare out toward right center. And that'll get down for a base hit. The back, number 10. Into the box now. Reese McGuire hit down the line at first. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Weak grounder down the line at third, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Hot shot on the ground is short, and that's through into left and back to back singles have him in business to start the ninth. You're Joe Hennig will get a chance to swing the bat here and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. So striding in, Kevin Biggio. He struck out Kevin. swinging in his last trip to the plate. No nope. too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. A roll this Chapman. They call him the Cuban missile. Well, he needs to start firing some bullets right here. He's in trouble, but I would bet against him getting out of this mess. And a left-handed batter waiting on deck, though there's a good shot he might get pulled back. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Payoff pitch one more time. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. That's bounced foul. It's two and two. One out with the possible tying and go ahead runs on base here. And he will look at a cold third strike. Oh, and a big one there as the bases stay loaded. That's and there the are two ball. gone now. The third base ball. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The 1-1. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Final strike for the Blue Jays. And he fouls this one off. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Yeah. 
This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. He brings it in, and the Yankees have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Man, facing Chapman is not for the faint of heart as he unleashes fireball after fireball. Gets the final out here, and another save. What a weapon Chapman is. 4-2 to two the final score today. The Yankees put up a four spot in the opening frame on the way to victory. Luis Severino gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Aroldis Chapman wraps it up for the save, his fourth of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees. Four runs, 12 hits, one error. They left 12 men on base. For the Blue Jays, two runs, six hits, one error. They left nine men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 49 minutes. Our paid attendance here at Yankee Stadium this afternoon, 47,309. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please get home safely.